For this review, it's back to the Volvo wall, and yes, the EC300E, your time has come. The EC300E is an excavator in the 30 tonne weight class. The model comes in a Volvo branded box, and on the back there is a picture of the EC300E. What's interesting about this is that at the time of the review, details of the real machine aren't on the Volvo website. So for once, the model has appeared before the real machine has. Inside the box sleeve, the model is contained between a pair of plastic formers, and these do a good job of protecting it. They are factory sealed, so you get a chance to practice some knife work, and then you can separate the formers and get the model out. There's no assembly to do and no instructions are provided because this model is complete, out of the box. Looking underneath, the base of the undercarriage is metal, and there's also some detail on the underside of the body. The metal tracks are good, and they're mounted on simple frames without working rollers. The cab interior is good with all the controls modelled, and on the outside there's a Volvo logo on the door handle. The grab rail on the outside is metal, and there are twin windscreen wipers too, but surprisingly there's no door mirror. The body casting is very good with decent grills and panel handles, and the Volvo name is embossed in the casting. Small graphics add to the realistic look. There are hydraulic pipes at the boom foot, the handrails are metal, and on this side of the model a couple of mirrors add detail. Things are quite nice up on top as well with textured walking surfaces and a video camera at the rear. Very thin plastic hoses provide the hydraulics detailing on the boom and stick. And the bucket is a nice casting and it's enhanced by the painted rivets which don't look obtrusive. So out onto the test track and the tracks have a bit too much friction to roll on a smooth surface, but you can roll them easy enough by hand. Surprisingly there seems to be very little spring loading in the idler. And if we try the model out, wow where did that rough terrain come from? Anyway try the model out on a rough surface and the tracks roll very well. Another feature common on motor art models is the opening engine cover, and this one is no exception. Although you can't pose the cover in an open position, the look of the engine inside is very good. And it gives the model a higher quality feel, as does the snapshot cover. So far so good, and the rotation doesn't disappoint either because it's smooth and there's no rocking at all. But for an excavator it's all about the boom, stick and bucket. Well it all starts well enough because the bucket has a good range of movement. The stick opens up fully and it will pose at full reach without the rams bleeding down. And MotorArt have done a good job with the stiffness of the rams, which is just right. If we now engage the helicopter mode, we can try digging at depth, and overall it's pretty convincing. Of course a tracked excavator has to be transported from site to site, so will it fold up small and go on a low loader? Well the answer is yes, so in terms of digging functions, MotorArt's done a good job. As a final check, we'll give it a genuine imitation, real life test. And here you see the Cranes Etc operator is able to smoothly position his load and then discharge it. You know, when the Cranes Etc team performs as well as this, it almost makes you want to stop punching them when they ask for a pay rise. In summary, this model of the Volvo EC300E by Motorar is very good quality. There's not much plastic, the detailing is very nice, and the functionality is good too. So overall, it's a model that's easy to highly recommend. 